set and turn on. Okay. All right. So we are going to be doing a strength workout today. We're going to be focusing on legs and shoulders, which is a weird combination, it sounds like, but when you put it together, it actually really works pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and start to jog it out. I'm going to keep the music nice and low. So then you can have your own music in the background. Um, if you'd like. Nice tight core. Um, so it looks like starting in February, we are going to be able to bring Wednesday mornings back into Bison, which is really good. I will still film the workout, but then we will be able to work out Wednesdays in person also, 5.30 a.m. So super excited about that. Hopefully. I mean, if nothing changes between now and then. Okay. Let's do a little side to side shuffle. Nice. Then go ahead and roll out your shoulders. So I'm doing the shoulder workout this morning, but my chest and even like right here into my shoulders, super sore from my Sunday workout still. All right, take it back. When you go big or go home, right? You gotta work the muscles. And last week I had to take a couple of days off because of my oral surgery. So came back sore, okay? All right, take your feet out nice and wide. Keep your legs parallel to each other. Double rock side to side, really lean into that. Get yourself a nice stretch. Good, keep your feet flat, all of your feet, all four corners, flat on the floor. Okay, so for weight training, shoes are super, super, super important, okay? I see a lot of people try to do weight training in um, running shoes, hit shoes. If you are able to invest in a nice pair of CrossFit shoes or weight training shoes, they make a really big difference with your stability. Reach down, reach up. Finally got my husband to... Uh, Switch over to some Reebok Nanos just last week, and he loves them. He's like, oh my gosh, what a difference. Good. Three more. Two. One more. Come on back down. Just kind of like hold low. Give yourself a nice little stretch here. Sit really low into that. Feet are wide. Pulse it out. Chin up. Flat back. Walk your feet in. A couple more little shoulder rolls here. Let's twist a little bit. Reach out and push. All right, so for equipment today, I do have my bench out. Um, also have lots of variations of dumbbells. So like always, use what you've got. You could always use kettlebells. Um, whatever you got, use it. All right, we're going to actually warm up a little bit more. We're going to warm up our shoulders, but we're going to do it with just like a light set of weights. So I'm just going to grab a set of fives. Okay, so just grab your lightest set of dumbbells. Bring your feet to about hips distance, super tight core. And we're just going to do a couple of front arm raises here, getting the arms, the shoulders warmed up with light weights. Don't grab your heavier weights thinking you're not going to get out of this move. I mean, get, not going to get a lot out of this move. It's just a warm up. It's getting our shoulders warm, still getting our body temperature up, moving around. Four, three, two. I'm just holding these very light. One, take it to the corners, corner. Okay, so I'm making a 90 degree angle between each weight and my body. So, all for you math people, I'm the vertex. Okay, lift, hit the corners, lift. Lift, four, three, two, only kind of feels like working, right? <laughs> Bring it in, all right, just take it out to the sides. Bring it out to the sides, get those shoulders moving, come out to the sides, good. Even with five pounds, I feel this. Nice tight core, four, three, two, 
One more, nice. Bring these heart center, take your feet out, not as wide as we were before, just to about shoulders distance, and then just go into a couple of little squats here. Good, you're breathing, you're moving. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, stagger your feet, bring these up. Little overhead presses, light weights. I'm still just with my fives. You'll notice that I open my hands when I have lighter weights. That's because I wanna put my energy in my shoulders and not into my grip. So that's what I do pretty often when I'm lifting. Three, two and one take that down put the weights down come back into some shoulder rolls come back into the jog roll back all right if you weren't awake before you're awake now grab a sip of water and we are going to get into this workout okay you want to start the hardest moves first or the easiest <laughs> Kind of like a trick question, right? All right, so we're actually gonna start with heavy, I'm gonna grab a couple 20s. We're gonna work some legs. So we're gonna do a superset. Make sure you have space. All right, so I have a set of 20s. What I'm gonna do with my set of 20s is I'm gonna start off, the weights are right here on my sides. My feet are only at about hips to shoulders distance, no more, okay? So we're gonna do a squat, but we're gonna have their weights on the sides, and we are going to keep our feet narrow, okay? So if you have natural turnout with your toes, try to fight that and bring them in, unless it's causing pain, and then let them go out a little bit. All right, move number one. The weights are just gonna be on our sides, our chin is up, our back is flat, our core is so tight. Squat as low as you can go, squeeze it to the top, with a nice pop, okay? And you're gonna go through that. We're gonna do 15 to 20. Let's see how we're feeling. You do not have to do the same number of reps as me, okay? So definitely do not have to match it. Okay, now here's our superset. Remember I said that we are gonna go, superset means that, <clears throat> sorry, instead of resting, we rest a muscle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our legs rest. We're gonna pop these guys up here and we're gonna press and we're gonna press. They're not out, they're not in front of me, they're sitting at a little bit wider than a 45 degree angle. So let's think about like a 60 degree angle, and we're gonna punch, and we're gonna punch, and yes, these are heavy, okay? So, grab the weight that works for you, tighten your core, put your gaze straight ahead, get your stability, three, two, and work. One. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, tighten your core, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20. Bring these up, lighten out if the weights are too heavy for your shoulders. Okay? 10 and 10. 3, 2, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Bring them down, take a breath, set them down if you need to set them down. We are going to repeat with minimal rest. Three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, thrust up, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, up, 3, 2, press, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, bring them down, quick rest. All right, so the weight of these is what's taking away my breath, all right? So if you're a lighter weight, you're like, why is she out of breath? Okay, <laughs> it's the weight that I'm using. Okay, so that was fun at all. So I wanna go heavier. Wish those matched, but they don't, right? But it doesn't matter, because weights are weights. All right, okay. I just brought over a set of 30s. Guess what, I'm not gonna press those overhead. That's why I have two weights in front of each other. I'm gonna squat with my 30s. If I can't go anymore, I'm gonna switch to my 20s because they're right here. And then I'm gonna grab my 20s and I'm gonna press my 20s. I don't wanna press 30s. A Little bit too much on my shoulders. Um, might be able to do it. Can I do it for 10? I don't know. Can I do it standing? I shouldn't, I would want more stability if I was gonna press that. All right, ready? Here we go. Switching to 30s. You use what you have, go heavy. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chin up, eight, nine, ten, I feel it, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Switching it out. Okay. Woo! Bring it up. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Uh, okay, we're gonna go again. You're heavier, do whatever you want, okay? Go heavier, don't hit so many reps. Whatever it is that you need to do to make this work for you, all right? Okay, going back to my 30s. All right, challenge yourself. Here we go. All right, whatever you need to do to squat, grab the weights for your squatting. Okay, ready? Three, two, pull. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is why I need to put mats back down. Yeah, my next investment because I tore up my other ones. But I have this gorgeous industrial carpet. All right, ready? Three, two, press. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Ugh. Walk it off. All right, don't be afraid to lift heavy. You will not get bulky lifting heavy unless you are eating the nutrition plan that goes along with it, okay? Do not be afraid to pick up a heavy weight. I eat the nutrition plan and I struggle with getting bulky, okay? So it's not something that is easy to do. Don't think, oh, I have to hit lift light weights. Okay, you do not have to hit lift light weights. All right, how are we feeling? Good? All right, awesome. Okay, so if you're at your maximum weight right now, keep it, okay? Awesome, that's what you're gonna keep doing. If you are not at your maximum weight and you could go up again, we're gonna go for one more set, okay? You don't have to hit 20 reps. I'm gonna go up again, all right? I gotta grab my weights. Hang on, they're over here. shed, whatever we want to call my area. Okay, so um, I went up a weight again. I'm going to 40. You don't have to finish 20 reps, okay? You can lighten it out. Maybe you're still the same weight because that's the equipment you have. Maybe you're going to do faster and more reps. We're going to burn it out, okay? This is our fifth set. Boom. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, there's no rule saying that we have to do three sets of anything. All right, so Burn it out. Whatever it is that you're doing right now, burn it out, okay? When you go to your shoulders, I want you to only pick up one weight at a time. And I want you to go as heavy as you want. I said I wasn't gonna go above 20, but I might do it right now, okay? One at a time, okay, for your shoulders. Here we go. Your heaviest, okay? 40 pounds, whatever you've got, okay? Hit your maximum or drop set. Dr Drop it out till you hit 20. Three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep going, your stop. Thirteen. Maybe lighten it up. Fourteen. 15, maybe just keep what you got. I think I'm on 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Need a minute. Are you getting stronger? Okay. I'm actually getting stronger. I lost a lot of strength um, due to my hamstring tendon injury due to COVID. I was doing a lot of cardio. Um, so I was doing a lot of nothing. Okay, so 30 pounds, one at a time. All right, you can wrap and grab. Or you could be here. Three, two, press. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I'm gonna rest before I do the other side. All right. If you don't have to rest, this is your workout. This is my workout. All right. You do what works for you. All right. Ready? Three, two, I'm gonna go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. Man, when you invest in a good set of dumbbells, even though those are ugly, they last forever. These are like probably like 30 years old. I'm not kidding. 
Um, those are door, but <laughs> these are like dinosaurs. And guess what? They work perfect. All right, let me get everything out of the way. Clean up, grab a sip of water. Let me put these guys back. Woo! what I'm going to call my area from now on is my little she shed. Okay. All right. How are we doing? Good? Yay. Good. I'm going to kind of miss this going into February back at Vice and I might have to just film this workout on my own in my always spare time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are going to keep going. Okay, so back and shoulders, back and shoulders, back and shoulders, back and shoulders. Okay, um, for our next set, we're going, I'm sorry, not back and shoulders. What am I saying? Legs and shoulders. I don't even know what my own work at. We're just gonna take a second and we're gonna work some calves, okay? Sometimes we forget all about our calves. So we're gonna take a second to work that. You have option one. Maybe your calves are a little bit on the weaker side. You're just going to kind of find something to balance on. Both of your feet are going to be planted and then you're just going to come up onto your toes and you're going to work those calves. Okay. Or you're going to take one dumbbell. You're going to find something to hang on to. Your hand that's resting, that's giving you support is on the side of the foot that's working. Your other foot's going to come around behind and you're going to lift with the weight in the hand that is lifted. All right. Set. Two feet are one, three, two, and go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Okay, ready? Or if you're going two feet, this is just your next set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so next set, still with caps. If you have somewhere to sit, sit. If you have nowhere to sit, then I just want you to repeat what we just did. You're gonna sit. You're going to bring your feet very close to underneath you. I'm on the edge of my chair. I'm not leaning back. My dumbbells are on my legs right here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to squeeze right here and work my calves again. Okay. You can be standing. You can do what we just did, crossing your ankle or sit heavy dumbbells on your legs. Take a deep breath. Set up. Three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're going to consider that set two, which means we're going to do a set three. Again, you can do side to side. You can do standing here, um, or I'm just going to go up and wait. Back to seated, higher, wait, Oop. all right, ready, set three, you might be on set four if you're doing two feet at the same time standing, that's fine, three, two, sit up really tall and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, don't forget about your calves. They're kind of, you know, like we use them a lot. I mean, you walk around them all day, which is cool, right? But um, you want to really sculpt them and sculpt them. I had this really cool conversation with someone yesterday about 
if you have natural turnout with your feet, right? So like that foot goes out to the side. Notice my knees are lined up, but that foot still goes to the side. That's just how my leg is shaped. Um, okay. If I fight it and make sure that that foot is straight when I'm doing this, that's cool, right? But is it really going to make a difference? If you're walking around all day like this and you just do one set like this and it's painful and uncomfortable, let your foot turn out a little bit, okay? Because doing a couple of sets, straightening your leg where it's not comfortable, isn't going to undo the fact that you walk around with your foot out all day. So kind of feel it out. If it's painful and causing pain and discomfort, then just go to your natural position. But if you can keep them parallel, then keep them parallel. Okay, I have the ability to fight it. I've worked really hard on that because my foot actually had a lot of turnout and I've um, done a lot of therapy to like bring it back in. Okay, so enough about that. We're gonna go to our shoulders. We're gonna hit some different angles. All right, so we're gonna actually go to a superset, but it's gonna be totally shoulders. I am gonna keep this right here um, for my first set. And if you don't have um, what to sit on, then you're just gonna do this all standing. Um, if you have a ball, you can use your ball. Um, I'm just going to start with some eights for the first set, sitting, doing it really light. Okay. My first move is going to be standing. I'm going to do a front arm raise. I'm going to bring my hands in front of me like this. Okay. So these are my thumbs are into my thighs here. I'm going to have a really tight core lift, lift together. Okay. Single, single, double my move. Number two, I'm going to sit. I'm going to hinge over my feet are together. My back is super flat and I'm going to fly out to the side. So when I do that fly, I have a slight bend in my elbow. If you're like, I don't have a chair or a bench, that's fine. So if you don't have a chair or a bench, when you do that fly, you're going to sit down into a chair position and then you're going to bring your hands a little bit more to the front to do that fly. Cause you can't really bring it back here. So this is going to be my, my fly. If I don't have a chair to sit back on, and maybe you have a chair to sit back on and it's just not comfortable, come up to standing. All right, ready? Starting light, okay? Not everything has to be super heavy. Eight pounds, standing up really tall, super tight core, three, two, and go. Single, single, double. I'm just coming up to shoulder height. I don't know how exactly it looks on the camera, but shoulder height, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double, core so tight, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, keep going, single, single, double, 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 five doubles, five, four, no rocking, three, two, one, sit, that's why we have a lighter weight, all right, sit or chair position and hinge, okay, lean over, I'm bringing my gaze down too, I don't want to extend my neck, comfortable neutral spine, tight core, three, two, slide bend of the elbows and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay. Mental note. Where am I with weight? Do I need to go up? Am I good? When I hit the last one, could I have gone? Could I have done more? If you could have done more, you need heavier weights. Even if you have to drop it out or even if you don't finish the set. Okay. If you were done, you're like, why is she stopping? Okay. Grab heavier weights. If you don't have heavier weights, then you can go a little faster than me. You can do more reps than me. Okay. So if your body's ready to go up and wait and they're sold out, that's fine. Cause I know they're sold out like everywhere or they're a million dollars. Um, keep your weight, add more reps. Okay. You can even slow it down, which actually makes it feel even heavier.
okay? So let's do that, okay? Because I want you to feel that difference. So I'm gonna keep my eights, but I'm going to go slower. All right, starting with the first move, let's slow it down, okay? Like you are pulling the weight through molasses, so heavy, three, two, pull to the front, single, single, together. No rocking, intentional pause on the top and on the bottom, together. Slide bend of your elbow, don't lock out your elbows. This should be comfortable, okay? I never lock out my arms here. There's a little micro bend in my elbows. And I can tell even with slowing it down that I could definitely go up on weight with this, which is a good feeling, right? Also test your limits, right? Always want to test your limits. Because you never know. Single, double, single, single, double. This like collection of weights that I have, I didn't start off with this. I had like a set of fives and a set of tens. And then I was like, ooh, let me find some twelves. Ooh side some 15s and then 20s right and then eventually I got the select text because I needed more and more weight and my husband wanted them too but I really bought it for myself Shh. five doubles five I'm feeling it four even with the eight pound weights three two one and rest okay come on down um yeah, so even if your goal is not to get stronger, maybe your goal is to just to get toned, you're gonna get stronger, okay? It's kind of fun. All right, ready? Feet together, hinge over. If you're standing, you're in that hinge chair position, you have a nice neutral spine, flat back. Don't ever extend just so you can see in front of you. All right, if I had a mirror here so I could check my floor, my mirror would be next to me. Okay, hinge over, three, two, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, no rocking, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Again, even with light weights, all right, you will feel that. You will sculpt out. You will get strong, okay? Woo! It was, I felt that totally. Eight pound weights. Okay, I'm going to go up with the next set, though, but these are going to stay here because if I have to drop it out, I don't have to miss much because I can just switch out to my other weights. All right, ready? Doing it again. Going from eight to 10. All right, hands in front, core is tight. Feet are parallel as much as possible. Standing up really tall, three, two, and raise. Single, single, double. Maybe you're gonna have your weight than me, that's fine. Of course it is, you can be stronger than me. There's no rule that says that you have to stick with what I'm doing. Pull your weight that you need. Maybe your goal is really just to get stronger and stronger right now. So guess what? You can do heavier weights and fewer reps because that's how you gain strength, okay? Heavy weight, max it out, fewer reps, and then each time you go heavier. Actually, I would add reps and then go heavier, add reps, and then go heavier and drop the reps again. Woo, I feel it. One more here, and then we're gonna try to pull the five doubles. My body's like, we are, no. Okay, ready? I need to set for this, because these might, I'm sore, I'm burning here. Three, two, five doubles to the front. Five, no rocking, four. Three, two, 
one and sit. Hey, little break, little break. Okay, fly. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Okay. Last shoulder here, and then we're gonna go back and hit our legs again. All right. Feet together. Hinge. Three, two, neutral spine, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Ten, nine, eight. Drop it out if you need to. Seven. Six, woo, burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I don't think my lips even went up all the way on that last one. Okay, <laughs> shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Give yourself some space. Okay, water, space. Breathing. Good. Okay, get some water. My little handle keeps popping off of this. Might have to order another one because one day I dropped it and the handle popped off and it's been doing that ever since. Okay, for the next move. We're going to be, and if you've done this with me before, you know what's coming. You can put a mat down if you need a mat. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be standing straight up, okay? We're gonna have an option to add weight to this, okay? But we can start with no weight. You're gonna stand up, okay? Your hands can be on your side, they can be heart centered, they can be whatever they want it to be, and then eventually you're gonna hold a weight. You're gonna come back, you're gonna kneel down, and then you're just gonna come all the way back up to standing. Well, that looks easy, right? So simple. All right, now we're gonna put it to the test. So if you have sensitive knees, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a mat, you're gonna open it up, you're gonna stand in front of the mat. So when you go down, you can put your knee on the mat and stand back up. No momentum, okay? Don't rock your body to get up easier. On the first set, let's do no weights, okay? 10 on each side, no weights. If you can't access dropping your knee all the way down or if it's painful for whatever reason, um, just come back as far as you can into a lunge. My knee didn't tap, okay? So the knee going down is nice because you are taking away any momentum and you have to pull yourself back up. You're gonna feel it in this opposite quad, but if you can't access it, that's fine. You're just gonna step back into that lunge. Make sure you're not stepping forward. Step back into the lunge and then pause, pull yourself back up, all right? 10 on each side with um, no weight. Make sure you have space. Three, two, and go. Hit your knee, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five. Standing up really tall. Four. Don't lean forward to try to create momentum. Three, two, one. Take a breath. We're gonna switch to the other side. This other side isn't as easy for me because I have a torn hamstring tendon on this side. It's probably 80% better, all right? But I still feel it when I do stuff like this. Okay, three, two, and go. 10, I'm very careful with my form. Nine, that's how I prevent future injury or stopping the progress of the healing. Seven, my feet are totally flat. When I come up, that foot is planted. This is where those weight training shoes or CrossFit shoes make like a huge difference because I have all four corners of my foot. If you think about two sides of your heel 
and then your big toe and your pinky toe. Planted, flat, so stable, no rocking. I don't know what number we're on because I started talking, but we'll call that 110. All right, I think that was like 11 or 12, but that's okay. All right, so can you add weight to this? Okay, if you can add weight, you're gonna add weight. The weight is only gonna go on the side of the foot that's moving and it's gonna come up here on your shoulder. So I'm gonna take a 20 pound dumbbell and I'm gonna rack it up here on my shoulder. If all you have are light weights, you can hold them on your sides. That's okay, maybe all you have is 10s, hold a 10 and a 10. Um, or if you have a single heavy, then bring it up onto the side of the leg that is stepping back, okay? Tight core, three, two, and go. Pause, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three. Don't these just look easy, but they're not? <laughs> Two. One. All right, bring that weight to the other side. Again, this is the side that I really have to focus on. Make sure my mate, my mat, my meat. If I can like my Australian cattle dogs, my mate, my mat is nice and flat so I don't catch my foot on it. Switch the weight to the other side. My opposite foot's going to come back. The side with the weight is the side that's stepping back. Three two, and go. 10, nine, I have to pull my arm out to balance because I've got the weight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, woo, how'd that feel? Good, all right, so what comes next? You're gonna add weight, but I'm not gonna add weight, I'm gonna add an overhead press. Okay, what that's gonna look like is, this is gonna hang out right here. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna press. Different from the press before because we're at a different angle. Before we were out, now we're here, okay? Don't open it up, it's gonna stay in this position while you press. Do you have to do the press? No, the press is totally optional because you might be doing this with no weight. Um, if you are working with two lighter weights, let me show you what I would like for you to do. Okay, so maybe you were had two lighter weights and they were on your side, come up, hammer, press down, take it back, up, hammer, press, down. You can do that with two heavy weights, all right? So that's definitely a good move. Maybe we'll do that one next for everyone. Let's try it with the single press with the heavy weight. Okay, two light weights, hammer, two double press. Take it back, well, one double press, okay? We don't have four arms. Okay. Three, two, and go. Up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, this burns. One, okay, a little rest, take it to the other side, maybe you need a rest, keep going, I don't care, all right, okay, I have such a good time here, okay, I actually have a lot of fun when I'm lifting, I don't even have to be doing anything crazy, I just have fun lifting, it's fun for me to see what my body can do, if you only have one body, you might as well test it out. All right, ready? Bring it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, two, and go. 
10. This side feels heavier. <laughs> 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. I'm breathing here. Woo! 2. And one. All right. All right. We're going to go again. This time, four sets. Yeah. We did this four. I don't know. Okay. Option hit that hammer with the press. I'm going to go two arms. So instead of doing 20 with one arm, um, I think I'll go 12. This seems like a good number, right? All right. Set of 12s. One on each side, when I come up, I'm gonna hammer, I'm gonna press, and I'm gonna take it back down. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. Hammer, press, 10, nine, eight, ooh, biceps, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Take it to the other side. Don't change out your weights, okay? Keep the weights you have. Even if you were like, oh, I could have gone heavier. We're going to the other side. So the change of weight will impact the legs, okay? Not just the shoulders. So we want symmetry. Three, two, and go. Hammer, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, almost there, two, And one. Woo, good job. Yay. All right, we're gonna work core. Grabbing one 10 pound dumbbell coming down onto my mat. And create a little angle here. All right, come on down. We're just gonna finish with core. All right, what time is it? Oh, yeah, we have a couple minutes. All right. How do you feel? Good? Good, 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 good. All right, nice. Okay, see the position, sit back. Let's just go for a couple little pulses here. Nice, get used to being here. You can stay right here, I don't care. Do this for five minutes. We're good. Four, three, two, one. All right, grabbing my weight, bringing it heart center. I'm gonna hinge back into my seesaw position. I'm gonna twist. And then as I twist, I'm gonna kick into that direction that I'm twisting. 10 on each side. Lean back, flat back, chin up. Actually, you can do a little curl, it's fine. Sorry, but I want chin up, neutral spine. Three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven. You can do this with no weight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 8, 7, Other side, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. Next set with no weight. Hands come to heart center. Okay, little fingertips together. Going to the right. Three, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three.
three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Come on back. All right. Ooh. Uh, hang on here just because like it feels good, right? All right, we're gonna go into a get up. We're, we're gonna do, we're gonna get up, right? Okay, okay. So this arm is up, we're gonna press. This leg is bent, that leg is extended. This arm is gonna come out. You're gonna take your spider fingers, you're gonna tip them right so they're touching the ground to give yourself a tiny bit of support. We're gonna lift, roll it back, lift, roll it back. You want to add a little chest press you can go ahead and add a little chest press right now why not right okay ready okay if you're on the struggle bus with this I want you to get rid of the weight all right I want you to just grab your leg help yourself up take it back grab your leg help yourself up and take it back okay right or this weight is gonna come up three two and go press reach press reach Press, reach, press. This finger's helping a little bit. Reach, not cheating. Press, reach, press, reach, press, reach. One more. Press, reach. Take it back. Switch everything out, okay? Switch your legs. Bend, straighten, fingers touching, elbow out to the side, and press reach 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 two more press reach finish press reach lay back grab that dumbbell with your hands extend your legs out bring this up above your head all right you're gonna roll you're gonna roll you're gonna take it back and back up roll back back up roll modify no weight or bend your knees back you can bend your knees here i'm gonna leave this okay keep going okay grab pull back, reach, grab, pull, back, reach, grab, pull. I'm doing the modified. I'm going to come back in with the regular. Reach, 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 reach. Set the weight down. No weight. Don't bring your arms back behind you. Take away the momentum. Reach, reach, reach. Try it with the weight if you'd like. Reach, no momentum. Reach, reach. Woo, holy core, right? Reach, three more. Reach, one more, and rest. Set that off to the side. Whoop, get out of the way. Okay. And then we're just gonna stretch. Come on up. All right, for your stretch, we're gonna do a little legs first. Take your feet wide. No more rocket side to side. We work legs. Oops, we did. Then bring your toes out. Squat, push. Push, 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 you can reach. Come on down and pulse it, sit low. I'm turning my toes further in. Three, two, and hold. Nice, you can do a little bend side to side. Nice, and then roll it up. All right, I want you to find a wall or something that you can put your hand against. Um, so I'm gonna use my bench right here. My hand is going against the back of my bench and I'm twisting my shoulder, okay? So I'm turning away from it 
your hand could be up against the wall, any piece of furniture. And then just switch to the other side. Twist away. Good, give yourself that shoulder stretch. Nice, come center, take a deep breath. Cactus back, reach up, tip over, but look up. Good, come up, tip over, look up. Come on up, cactus, reach, release. Woo, good job, you guys have an awesome day, thank you so much.